Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Bambi Gaming, and by now I'm pretty sure that everyone who's played a Sega game knows of the Santa character. Wait. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Bumblebee Gaming, and by now I'm pretty sure that everyone who's played a Sega game knows of the Sonic what? character. But for those of you who are uncultured, Sonic is an anthropomorphic blue hedgehog that goes fast, except that sometimes he can't even do that. So in short, he's just an anthropomorphic hedgehog. That's it. However, one crucial detail of this Sonic is the fact that, like humans, he will die if he is submerged underwater for too long. This results in some gosh darn hell-like levels that are just way too frustrating to beat, and it will kill you again and again and again because you can't find a stupid air bubble! <sighs> but we're not going to be dwelling on these types of levels today. Instead, I'm going to be talking about the possibility, nay, the definite fact that Sonic is able to stay alive while submerged underwater. Before we start, however, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button, and let's see if we can hit one like on this video. I know, I know, that seems like a huge goal, but I have faith in you guys. I know that you guys can hit that one like mark if you guys really tried your best. Anyways, without further ado, let's continue. So, why am I so sure that Sonic can breathe underwater? Well, it all started when I was playing Sonic Forces and I came across the sixth stage in this game, called the Egg Gate. Now, in this level, your goal is to escape the Death Egg by getting to the Goal Ring. However, I noticed that in this particular portion of this level, Sonic jumps out of a station on a grind rail surrounded by space itself. Space. Nothing but space, and Sonic's still staying alive. Keep in mind that in space, there is no oxygen and in fact no air. None whatsoever. So it got me thinking, if Sonic can stay alive in space, where there is no breathable material, then how come he can't stay alive underwater? Surely he doesn't need to breathe since he can perform just fine in space. But you know, we all know how flawed Sonic Forces is in its story and lore, so I decided to give that contradiction a pass for the time being. But then I started noticing how many other Sonic games let Sonic breathe in space, but not water. For instance, in Sonic Colors, Sonic can stay alive when he's straight up traveling from asteroids to asteroids, but yet can't stay alive while submerged underwater for more than 30 seconds. In Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Sonic can stay alive while fighting big arms in outer space, but yet again can't stay alive while submerged underwater. The evidence just kept on piling up and piling up. If Sonic doesn't need to breathe to survive, this whole drowning gimmick is just a lie. It doesn't need to exist. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like on it and tell every single person you know how amazing it is. <coughs> but then, if it couldn't get any more convincing, I found the most groundbreaking piece of evidence out of them all. If you go to YouTube and search up Sonic staying alive underwater, you'll find that this guy actually recorded footage of Sonic staying alive underwater in Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> and you're still gonna tell me that Sonic can't live underwater without having to breathe. This evidence shown today has proven otherwise, and we all know that Sega is just a full of a bunch of slimy smelly hypocrites and can't even keep their lore straight. Bramble Gaming, over and out. I'm just kidding, this is a joke video in case you couldn't already know, so please don't hate on me in the comments and make sure to leak, subscribe, and hit that notification bell 301 times. <laughs>